let's talk about templates. Just like I showed you on the home page when you're not signed in, you have the ability to do that right from within your profile. So you don't have to feel like you need to uh, try to go back to the home page or log out or anything like that. It's already here for you as well as when you like something, you'll find all of your liked templates here right underneath. So anytime you like something, it's kind of like bookmarking it or saving it, you'll be able to access it immediately. But let's go back to templates and talk about about the categories and the filters. So you see here we have the discover page, which is everything. You also see new things that we upload like uh, these whiteboard templates, which is really cool. We have design bundles, which are really neat. So for example, you have a lot of different elements inside one bundle, you can use it. And then this is the feature I was talking about where if I wanted to follow this creator, which I'll go ahead and do, I can click follow. And now I'm following that creator so that anytime that they upload or publish something, I will get a notification that says such and such uploaded a new design bundle or a new template or a new whatever it is, I will get a notification for that. But across the top here, you can see things like merchandise, marketing, social stationery, all this kind of stuff. And if I click through each one of these, it's going to show me a variety of subcategories and then filters. So just to quickly click through that, we have merchandise, here's marketing, here's social media posts, stationary, branding is probably going to be helpful for a lot of you, business. But let's go back to merchandise for a second and you can see all of these subcategories, these uh, categories of the product themselves, and they're different for each one of these global categories. So for example, if I just click on bags, now I am being shown designs that are optimized or work best for bags. It doesn't mean that you can't use another design in another category for a bag. You can use whatever design you want for a bag or a hat or a flyer or whatever it doesn't matter just this just helps you get down to what the creators were thinking when they were designing these templates and then if I wanted to filter them I have all of these really cool helpful filters so for example if I want to let's go to show all and let's say I want to uh, go to something like travel if I hit the theme now I'm seeing only travel themed templates and then I can even go more granular with the style so maybe I want to go travel but maybe I want to go vintage and so I go travel vintage so I have look I have all these kind of like old rugged uh, this one's kind of Western this one's kind of retro uh, this one's kind of like hatched this one's like super kind of lithograph and then I could get even more gear granular and I could go let's say I only kind of want like dark brown and now it's going to show me this kind of yellow dark brown or any time that there's that color in a template so for example you see it on the highlight here you see it in the background here and this is a way that you can really get to the specific design that you want using these filters and if you don't like them you just go up here and click the little trash can to get them to go away. And then you can also click on this filters button to also make it go away. You can also sort them by name, recent, most used, or trending. So if you just wanna know, hey, what's the most used design out of bags for merchandise? You just go to most used. And now you can see here, 1,244 likes, 829 likes, and you can go through and check out some of the most used designs in bags. Again, if I switch to hoodies and sweatshirts, it's already filtered to most used. So you can see here the most used within this. Now they're not gonna be filtered by style, they're just gonna be filtered by most used. So these are the two different category filters that you can go through and change on any variety of things. For example, branding, maybe we wanna to go to recent in the branding category, Category, and maybe we want to go to let's say brand kits and now it's going to show me recent brand kit uploads like brand guidelines brand identity guidelines which is really really neat and I can go through and filter it the same way or I can change the filter that way